Welcome to Ordinary Differential Equations, Lecture 1, Definition of a Differential Equation. A differential equation is an equation involving derivatives or differentials of one or more dependent variables with respect to one or more independent variables. Examples. Suppose we have dy over dx equals to 4x in this differential equation y is the dependent variable while well, x is the independent variable other examples of differential equations are dy over dx plus 3x plus 5 equals to 0 x y double prime plus x squared y prime equals to x cubed minus 4. now let us define an ordinary differential equation an ordinary differential equation is a differential equation involving derivatives with respect to a single independent variable. Example, d squared y over dx squared plus y equals to sin x, d squared y over dx squared plus 2x dy over dx minus 3x equals to 0. Now, let us define partial differential equation. A partial differential equation is a differential equation involving partial derivatives of a dependent variable with respect to more than one independent variable. This means when you differentiate a term with respect to x, y is treated as a constant. Similarly, x is treated as a constant when we differentiate a term with respect to y. Examples. In the first example, we are required to differentiate this equation with respect to x. Therefore, all the y terms will be treated as constants. Now, let us define order and degree of a differential equation. The order of a differential equation. The order of a differential equation is the order of the highest differential coefficient in brackets derivative present in the equation. For example, 7 d cubed y over dx cubed plus 8 d squared y over dx squared plus 9 dy over dx plus 8y equals to exponential x. Now, in this differential equation, the first one here, the differential coefficient or derivatives present are d cubed y over dx cubed, d squared y over dx squared, and dy over dx. Now, among this, which one is the highest differential coefficient? Definitely, it is d cubed y over dx cubed. Therefore, the order of the first differential uh, equation is 3. Now, the second one, the highest differential coefficient present, it is d squared y over dx squared. Therefore, the order of this one is equal to 2. Now, let us define the degree of a differential coefficient. The degree of a differential coefficient is the degree or power of the highest differential coefficient present. When the differential coefficients are free from radicals and fractional exponents. So we need to remove all the square root signs as well as fractions. For us to get the degree of a differential coefficient or differential equation first of all we need to identify the highest differential coefficient or derivative two this differential coefficient must be free from any radical or fractional exponent for example suppose we have d cubed y over dx cubed plus d squared y over dx squared power 10 plus 3dy over dx to power 7 plus 8y equals to 0. Now, in this differential uh, equation, the highest differential coefficient, it is d cubed y over dx cubed. Now, what is the power of the highest differential coefficient? As you can see here, it is to power 1. Therefore, our degree is 1. The second one here, as you can see, the highest differential coefficient is d cubed y over dx cubed. And the power of this highest differential coefficient is 5. Therefore, the degree is 5. The degree is 5. 
in this other one here the highest differential coefficient present it is d squared y over dx squared and the power of that is 3 giving us degree 3 and the last one here again the highest differential coefficient is d squared y over dx squared and the power of that is 2 meaning the degree is 2 sorry meaning the degree is 1 the power is 1 so the degree is 1 correct now let us do more examples on order and degree of a differential equation so let me call example 1 example 1 suppose we have 3 plus dy over dx squared take the square root of everything equals to 2x now for us to get the order and degree first of all, first of all we need to remove the radical sign so let's square both sides so we have 3 plus dy over dx squared equals to 4x squared now we only have one differential coefficient that is dy over dx therefore our order is equal to one now what is the power of this differential coefficient as you can see the power is two so the degree is equal to two well let's do another one suppose we have this one x dy over dx plus 3 over dy over dx equals to y now for us to get the order and degree we need to remove this fraction so let's multiply all the terms by dy over dx so we'll have x dy over dx times dy over dx plus 3 equals to y dy over dx now here we'll get x d squared y over dx squared plus 3 equals to y dy over dx now what is the highest differential coefficient present as you can see it is d squared y over dx squared now what is the order as you can see the order is equal to 2 it is right here now what is the power of this highest differential coefficient the power is 1 therefore the degree is 1 correct let's take another example that is example what example 3 actually this was example 2 this was example 2 now let's do example 3 suppose we have y triple prime square root plus 2 y prime equals to x for us to get the order and degree we need to remove the radical sign by squaring all the terms present in the equation now we have y triple prime plus 4 y prime squared equals to x squared now what is the highest differential coefficient present it is y triple prime therefore our order is 3 don't forget y triple prime is the same as d cubed y over dx cubed therefore the order is 3 now what is the degree of this differential coefficient now if you look at it the power of the highest differential coefficient is 1 therefore the degree is 1 example 4 example 4 suppose we have this one plus d squared y over dx squared 
raised to power 5 plus 2x dy over dx equals to 2x squared y. Now, first of all, we need to identify the highest differential coefficient. In this case, this first term is the highest differential coefficient. Therefore, our order is given by this number over here, which is 4. The degree is what? The, de the degree is equal to 1 because this term is raised to power 1. Another, another example, that is example 5. Example 5. Now, suppose we have this one d cubed y over dx cubed then we take the square root of this term plus 2 dy over dx equals to x now we can take the second term this one here to the right hand side and we have d we have d cubed y over dx cubed square root equals to x minus 2 dy over dx then we square both sides we have d cubed y over dx cubed equals to x minus 2 dy over dx now as you can see here the highest differential coefficient present is d cubed y over dx cubed therefore our order is 3 now the degree is the power of the highest differential coefficient and as you can see it is 1 now example 6 example 6 suppose we have this one y d cubed y over dx cubed plus y equals to zero now in this differential equation we only have one differential coefficient that is d cubed y over dx cubed therefore our order is three now what is the degree of this differential coefficient now the degree is one because it is raised to power one Let's go to example 7. Example 7. Suppose we have d squared y over dx squared squared plus y equals to 0. Now in this differential coefficient, in this differential equation, we only have one differential coefficient. That is d squared y over dx squared. Therefore, our order is 2. The degree is the power of the highest differential coefficient, which is again 2. As you can see, it is here. Now, let's do the last example. That is example 8. Example 8. Suppose we have dy over dx plus y squared equals to x squared. As you can see, we only have one differential coefficient, that is dy over dx. Therefore, the order will be equal to 1. Now, the degree of this differential coefficient is again 1 because it is raised to power 1. Thank you for watching.